The winner, 200,000. 110 for show, 60,000 fourth place finisher. His thing this year, he's 0 for 5, and he seems to be more effective on soft going. His jockey, Alfred Gilbert, French jockey of 78, champion. Couple in the wagering with this horse. One, a Crystal Glitters. Both of these horses trained by Andre Farb, who's a former top steeplechase jockey. This horse is a grade one stakes winner at a mile and an eighth, but never victorious at a mile and a quarter. Very fractious, as you see in the post parade. He wants to get away. Hasn't raced in six weeks. Royal Heroin, the lone filly, 122 pounds, a break in the weights, most of that being jockey Fernando Toro, who fits her perfectly. In the U.S., she has six starts, three wins, and three excuses. She could easily be undefeated here in the U.S. Poor post position today. And the low weight in the field, 118, Dahar, because he's the only three-year-old in the contest. He's a late developing cold. He only broke his maiden in May. He has the pedigree to be a champ, but he's aiming too high here this afternoon. A feet pin guy, Jr., having the best season of his career aboard. And got Hodel Sol. A millionaire who hasn't won a race in a year and two days, but what a team. Charlie Whittingham, the trainer. Pat Day, leading rider in terms of races won for the last two years. And Pat has had two winners here this afternoon. Look for this gray one-run son of a gun to be flying in the stretch. Then we come to number five, the grand old man of racing, John Henry. The 84, 81st start of his storybook career. He's blitz foes from coast to coast. He's fast, he's tough, he's consistent, he's durable, and he just laughs at Father Time. John Henry getting a big round of applause here. Jack Slade, the local hero, is sharp now, but he's way over his head. His trainer, Dave Casson, a former jockey, and his rider today, Gerlan Galatano, they are shooting for the moon. Another outsider is number seven, Muscatite, who was uh, eighth in last year's million. That's Jack Slade, Muscatite just behind in the red colors there. He can't fire a winning shot this year, though. 0 for 6, and I don't think he has a prayer, even though jockey Daryl McCarg has flown in from England for the riding assignment. And Majesty's Prince, another from Millionaire's Row, is a bad luck horse. In so many races, he should have, could have, would have won last year. He was 12th last year in the million, but came back cut up in, behind in the quarters. And this year's trainer, Joe Canty, has been pointing him for one race, this one. He's fresh in form, and he has Eddie Maple aboard. And we come to number nine, Hot Touch. And isn't he great looking? He might be the best looking horse in this field, but he is not the fastest. He got a new rider this morning, as we said. Don Brumfield is aboard, but this horse just doesn't belong here, I don't think. Number 10, Nijinsky Secret on the front end last year in the million, faded to third, and I think he's going to probably suffer from deja vu. He was second in a weaker field two weeks ago. He was short, could be short again. And number 11, Desert Wine, and this is Vintage Wine. Good at two, better at three, bigger and stronger and faster at four. He's one of the rabbits. He'll keep this pace honest. Pace duels seem to bring out his best. And uh, about that third place finish on the turf. A good horse can run on any surface. And to call the race here at Arlington Park, their voice, Phil George Jeff. Racing world, he's definitely the target of attention for the next two or three minutes. Waiting for Desert Wine, and now they're all in. And they're off in the million four. While Heroin, the Philly down along the rail, going to the late Jack Slade is there, way on the outside. Here comes Desert Wine, passing the sands now. Majinski, secret, moves between horses. Royal Heroin down along the rail. Royal Heroin, three parts of a length. Majinski, secret right there, second by two. Desert Wine, third. John Henry, fourth. To the outside, hot touch in fifth to Har in sixth, Muscatite. Race scene seven, Majesty's Prince in eight, Crystal Glitters. Down along the rail, ninth, Morjan skimming the rail in tenth. Then it's Jack Slade, eleventh, and the gray horse, Gato del Sol, trails the field. About seven furlongs to go, Royal Heroin bouncing along with that one length lead. Najinski Secret right on her heel, second uh, length. John Henry saving ground in third, Muscatite between horses now in fourth, Desert Wine out there fifth by two and a half lengths then it is hot touch in six majesty's prince to the outside seven to hard down along the rail racing now in eighth they head up the back stretch royal heroin uh, commands the race with that one length lead uh, still right there second nijinsky secret coming on again john henry down along the rail in third muscatite racing fourth hot touch joins the leaders on the inside now in fifth followed by maha racing in six now they spring around the fire turn Royal Harrow in three parts of a link. Nijinsky secret right alongside second by two. John Henry coming on now third. Muscatite racing fourth. Hot touch to the outside now in fifth. They turn for home. The Philly is still there. Royal Harrow here they come spinning out of the turn. Royal Harrow has a one link lead. Nijinsky secret. John Henry like gangbusters.
looking at the living legend, John Henry, and the beat goes on, Thurman Racing's first $5 million baby, and the running time, and the Budweiser Arlington Million Four, 201 and 2. Oh, so the amazing nine-year-old gelding has done it again. John Henry, who won the inaugural here three years ago, nosing out the Bart, then did not race the year following in the Arlington Million. Then last year was nosed out himself by Tolomeo, but took charge at the turn coming from home. And with that typical dig in, steel hard fight, John Henry has won $600,000.